Hey everyone, I hope you guys are having a good day today. I wanted to hop on and talk to you guys about quote unquote graduation season. And I know this is kind of a weird word, but work with me this morning. Um, it was definitely what God was putting on my heart. So for those of you guys who have not been following my personal journey, I have been going through this season where um, my legs have needed some work and I've been going to physical therapy stuff in the mornings. And I was at the gym this morning and I've got good buddies who are, um, you know, my physical therapists that have been working with me and a lot of people at the gym that have just been super helpful or whatever. And I was in there this morning and had a pretty tough workout. Um, and, you know, I've been trying to stay positive through this whole thing, you know, cause I'm waking up at the crack of dawn to go work out, you know, and it's actually turned into a weird kind of an outlet for me where I really enjoy going to go work out first thing in the morning. Um, and it's kind of torturous while I'm there, but you know, it's really good for me and I've enjoyed it. So anyway, I pranced in there this morning and I think that I am their constant form of entertainment while I am there. Um, <laughs> and I pranced in and I said, you know what I'm grateful for? And he said, what? And I said, I'm grateful that you guys don't have a Stairmaster machine. And he broke down laughing. He thought that was the best thing ever. And he's like, well, we can arrange that and blah, blah, blah. I was like, no, nah, that was not an invitation. Like not an invitation. Anyway. Um, <laughs> And so, you know, it's kind of turned into this, you know, outlet where I've got, you know, a bunch of friends and where, you know, I'm getting better personally. And, you know, when life gets stressful, it's just, you know, a, a fun place to go hang out in the mornings, even though it's been a tough season, right? Um, well, uh, he kind of cornered me at the very end of all of this. And he said, you know, Jill, you're kind of hitting a place where you've made fantastic progress. You're right where I want you to be. Um, and he's like, I think that really any time you're good to go. He's like, I'm thinking about three more sessions and then, you know, you can kind of continue stuff on your own time, you know, um, with getting stronger. But he said, I think that you're where we need you to be. He was like, you're doing great. And I said, wow, you know, and I had like, it was kind of a weird reaction for me. I had like this little twinge of sadness, you know, um, that hit. And then it was also a ton of excitement at the same time. And I think that that's kind of normal for transition seasons. Amen. And I was a little sad just because, you know, this season has represented a season of overcoming in my life. It's represented a season of facing and overcoming things that I never thought that I could in my own strength. You know, it's represented a season where I've had to push myself a lot and reach new heights or whatever. Um, and it represents kind of approaching things things on my own now, you know, with this whole transition and this whole graduation, quote unquote, um, from this particular phase of my journey, but it's an exciting time. You know, it's an exciting time to be, you know, getting the green light and going, you know what, you can return as a normal functional member of society kind of a thing, right? Um, which is always a plus, right? It's a good thing. Um, but anyway, all of that to say, you know, I think that if we're not careful, we can be tempted to hold on to the old, you know, in times of transition, um, just because it's, you know, a comfortable place rather than embracing the new. And if you hold on to the old in these graduation seasons of your life and these transition seasons, it can keep you stuck in places that God never intended for you to be stuck in. You know, I immediately thought of Joseph in the book of Genesis. You know, Joseph interpreted this dream for Pharaoh and what felt like kind of overnight, you know, very quickly, it was a quick transition. We can definitely infer that from the Bible, um, that he was thrown into a position of very high power. And, you know, the immediate thing that God kind of reminded me of with this was, you know, he was taken out of his circumstances. Can we talk about the stuff that we don't think about a lot of the time? He was taken away from his friend group you know, the people that he knew in that jail cell. Granted, it was not a great circumstance. Don't get me wrong. You know, but he was taken away from that place of comfort. He was taken away from the familiarity of that place, of that season of captivity in his life. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, he's got this enormous amount of responsibility on him. How many of you guys know with greater blessing often comes greater responsibility? Amen. And it could have been very overwhelming for him. You know, he went from being, you know, treated like the scum of the earth in a prison cell to being treated almost like a prince. You know, he was, you know, second in command under Pharaoh. You know, that's a huge shift in every way, shape, and form. Amen. And if we aren't careful, sometimes that place of advanced blessing, that place of acceleration, that place of promotion can feel very daunting to us. And it can be tempting for us to want to run back, quote unquote, to the prison cell, to run back to Egypt, quote unquote, in our lives, you know, to run back to that place of comfort and familiarity. But we can't do that, ladies and gents. When God says it's time to graduate, when God says, 
says it's time to transition into your new season, we got to go. You know, we got to step into that kind of stuff. And we've got to know that it's not in our own strength. Amen. It may seem, you know, intimidating. It may seem a little bit scary, but God's so got you, ladies and gents. You know, and we've got to learn to celebrate these transition seasons. A lot of times people only look at the loss, you know, in a season of transition. They look at the people that God is asking them to step away from. They look at the circumstances that God is asking them to let go of. And they will get so focused on that place that they will miss that God has been preparing new places, new people, new circumstances this whole time that are on such a better level. Amen. And so I just wanted to come and speak that over you guys today and to let you know that maybe you've only seen loss, you know, in this particular set of circumstances for a long season, you know, but if you would be willing to let go of the things that God is asking you to let go of, he could release you into, you know, sending the things that he has for you in your personal life. And it could be such an enormous, you know, blessing for you, you know, and I think that in seasons of transition, you know, the devil wants to get you focused on all of the negative. When in reality, what we need to do is celebrate ahead of time, celebrate the victories ahead of time. I know you guys are going to think I'm crazy, but I'm going to let you in on a little secret here. In my personal life, I'm a goofy person. Um, and so I pranced into physical therapy. Ah, I don't know, four weeks ago, maybe. Um, I can't remember now. It was a while ago. And I told them my goal for physical therapy is I have bought myself a shark costume. And they looked at me like I had 10 heads. And I know this is silly. And they went, you did what? And I said, my goal for the end of physical therapy is I need to be able to dance in the shark costume to a song because it's going to represent celebration. It's going to represent me being able to do things that I couldn't do before. And I just wanted to let you guys know, you asked me what my therapy goal was. And you know, returning as a functional member of society, that would be a plus. But this, this is really important. I need you guys to understand. And they laughed and they giggled a lot. And they said, well, can we keep the costume when you're done with it? And I said, of course. I mean, you got to let me record the video first, but of course. Um, and so, you know, I think that sometimes we have to be purposeful to insert celebration, to insert, you know, um, ahead of time, praising God for the victories before we ever see them, you know, giving ourselves things to look forward to, you know, praise has to be purposeful. We have to put on a place of praise a lot of the time in our personal lives. And so maybe you're sitting in a season or in a place where you haven't seen that victory come through for you or in your life yet. Maybe you're just looking at the loss that you've seen in this season of transition, I want to encourage you guys, don't give up. Celebrate God ahead of time, you know, for the blessings, for the promises that he has spoken over your life and hold on to that stuff and let go of the things that he's asking you to let go of because it's going to hold you back from stepping into your new season. Amen. And praise him ahead of time for the incredible victories that he has ahead for your life. Amen. Hope you guys have a great day and I'll chat with you again soon.